What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com. Now, today I'd like to talk to you about computer cases because not every computer case is the same, and there's a lot of different features you might not know are available on computer cases. So, today I'm going to show you this computer case, and I'm also going to talk about some other computer cases that are out there. So, first off, we have a ATX standard mid tower computer case. And in this computer case, we have a fan on the side, we have, flip this guy up, flip him over. We've got a fan on the back, and also a fan that's part of our power supply. We also have uh, two, four, six, seven bays. Now, this case here also has, point this out, thumb screws, and we have four of those. So that's like uh, currency back in the day, you know, how many thumb screws you get. So these are really easy to take off. And also, this one's panel will remove from the case. So, some cases, you'll have, for some computer cases, you'll have six screws. And those screws, you have to remove all six, and then the entire top will come off. Now, with this case, it's uh, the more common style is where you remove these two screws, then this whole side will slide off. You kind of like gotta pry it, and usually it'll fit into like a track of some sort up here. So. We also have this plexiglass panel where we can see inside of our computer, which is kind of nice, and sometimes you might want to throw in some extra lights or something of that sort, kind of spruce it up. But one thing, one other thing to talk about is the amount of hardware you can fit inside this mid-ATX style computer case. For instance, we have one, two, three, four drive bays, and we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bays we can add other things like uh, hard drives or maybe for some reason, you, some wacky reason, you still have a zip drive. Also, I'd like to talk about airflow because different cases have different types of airflow. Now, traditionally, the traditional type of airflow is where you'll have a fan here on the front of your computer and that air will flow in here over up to the processor or right up here to the power supply, and it'll go either this way, out here, out here, generally from a low area, pull into the system, up, and then over. But other cases have, for instance, um, fans directly right here that might go straight on top of the processor and then pull heat right off that. And there's tons of other styles out there for the airflow, but like for instance, in this case, we could possibly be blocking our airflow by having more air. What I mean by that is this expansion port right here, the back has been taken off, which means, let's say, maybe for instance, we had two video cards at one point, or we just had a different card on here. We removed the card, and now we have an empty space. This could prevent better airflow to your computer because air is escaping here instead of flowing all the way up to the back. Now, like I said, we have our ATX case right here, and something like this I would say would range around anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks. And you can get an ATX computer case probably as low as 20 bucks, 30 bucks at a uh, secondhand store. Might be a little bit beat up, won't look this cool, but same form factor, so it'll still work for your new computer. Now, some of the options you wouldn't have in a case like this, a more expensive case, would be larger fans, uh, filters. You might have a filter in front of your uh, where the air gets sucked in, maybe a filter on the way out. Things like, take a look on the front. See right here we have um, USB and then also a microphone and headphone. You could have a few more options like maybe a uh, temperature readout or maybe some other audio options or maybe just a few more USB, and some computers these days, some, some cases these days even have um, USB or audio on the top as well as that maybe a fan pulling in from the top. So depending on the type of airflow you need, whether it be standard or if you're going to do some overclocking, you need some really good cooling, these are all things to take note of when buying a case. So like I said, a case like this, your standard good case, I'd say 60 bucks, but if you want maybe a full tower that has tons of fans and noisy as heck, uh, probably $120. So 
So these are all things to take a look at when looking for cases to buy. So now you know quite a bit more information about computer cases when you're looking to buy one or build your own computer.